Welcome to the Life with Alvo Piano's podcast. I'm Yayon's house. <laughs> Gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another episode of Life with the Arlianos, a podcast. We're delayed siguro mga one to two weeks. Being inconsistent is what we are consistent with. <laughs> <laughs> But because yeah, we always go back to the reason why we're doing this, it's because one... Because it's a little more, it's a lot more forgiving. We don't feel too pressured, yeah. but this is also an ongoing journal of, of our life. Mm. Of the life of, of the early yeah, 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 pretty much. You know, <laughs> husband and wife, <laughs> as parents, and of course, most often than not, we talk about the kids. Yeah. And this episode, we're going to talk about the kids again. Yeah. As you know, kids grow up, mm. and as they grow up, there are all these changes that happen. Changes in terms of what they... Uh, they're going to get married, huh? Oh, I'm graduate na ba? <laughs> uh, Changes in terms of their interests, changes yeah. in terms of what they can do. Mm-hmm. A refresher. Uh, for some of you who don't know, we have four kids. Primo is seven years old right now. Just Leon turned just yeah. turned five. Mm-hmm. Alana or Dudai just turned three. Mm-hmm. And Astro is one and three months. Yeah, one, Something three, like well, that. one and four months. One and four months. So this episode, we're going to talk about, I guess, the, the short courses or the hobbies, activities, slash sports that we actually... Um, have enrolled them yeah, in. Yeah, have enrolled them in. for those of you who uh, don't know, our children do not go to um, a traditional school. We mm-hmm. are homeschooling them. It's like guided homeschooling. So mm-hmm. we're not exactly doing it all on our, on our own. Initially, we wanted to go the unschooling route. Right, we wanted right. to go the unschooled route. But uh, I guess we couldn't commit to it because, well, one... We're newbies. We're noobs, and but you know I'm sure. Well, yeah, we'll one find, we're noobs, uh, and two I guess, kahit pa paano, medyo s- the pressure gets to me. The pressure of making sure that uh, are, are your kids, you know, can supply is going to be supplied with the proper knowledge, the the proper. Yes, like uh, are uh, are they gaining knowledge? Are, are, are they, they be... are they growing? Are they developing right? Right, right. right. Ganon. So you know, kaya pa I, I was getting pressured, and mm. meantime I'm on like maybe I'm like oh maybe I should just enroll enroll them in the school like this, but you know, Drew and I always try to meet and connect, and he always reminds me that you know, don't worry, they're gonna be okay. They're gonna, okay. They're gonna yeah. So uh, I guess I feel the pressure a lot because. I'm with them a lot, and then sometimes mm. I feel like, I guess, medyo minsan na highlight na, are they home a little too much compared to other kids? Yeah. Or, yeah, but a, a lot of that stuff, which is why um, it took a while for me to actually uh, get a little more proactive or to really initiate and look for things that they could be right. enrolled in. So, and, and one of the reasons why we enrolled them with not just one, but two, not just two, a good number of courses... Uh, is that yeah? Parang well, I just expose them as much as yeah, possible, but them. not hopefully not too much. We're trying but to find I'm, that balance. Yeah, but at the end of the day, we want to homeschool them. But we also, well, actually, the reason why we want to ho- ho- the reason why we want to homeschool them is because we want to be able to expose them. Yeah, as much as we Wait, can. I and... don't want to get exposed. Uh-oh. I'll no. make you get okay, exposed. Okay, contain mo kami. The house, if you expose me. You've it's... got hair. You've got hair on your nose. No. You've got hair. No. Yeah, you do. It's you know what? Just go to the traditional school so that pa- Mama and Papa will have quality time together. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just but, kidding. Yeah, the reason we the reason why we chose to homeschool them is because I guess we wanted to spend as much time as we could with them because I feel like that's what's important for us and for them as kids, for us as a family, to instill values. Uh, yeah, we a little have... better. Are we talking about the homeschool now, or are we, or parang kasi that's no, a no, huge? No, 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 because that, that's just the reason why we chose to do it this way, and why we want to have them mm-hmm. here and enroll them, be a little more in control of, you know, to be a little bit more specific with where we enroll them, is because uh, you know we want to have as much time as we can also with them, because we feel that that's going to be very crucial for their development. So. Mm. We have enrolled them in quite a number of things, uh, aside from 
our guided homeschooling, right. which is maybe like but maybe twice a week of it depends. one and a half hours or one so hour online. With, with, with Primo, that's probably a good uh, around three, three hours a week. About, about. About three hours a week. Mm -hmm. uh, See, see, Leon just started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, two hours yeah, a week. Leon today. Just, just started, started today, <laughs> September twenty-five. But um, Primo has been doing it for uh, for two semesters. Two sems. Two sems. For two He's semesters. In grade two now. Yeah, but the extracurricular activities Have that we enrolled them today. Huh? Everyone. Yeah, although yeah. yours is a little brown. <laughs> yeah, me too. Because <laughs> any more kids out there. <laughs> Yeah, so aside from the guided homeschooling, we have also enrolled them in. Prima was enrolled in soccer. Football. Football. Okay, so tell us about that, Kuya. He probably did around 20 sessions. 20 sessions? Because what were your thoughts on soccer? Uh, can't hold the ball. You can't hold the ball? No, but did you enjoy That's it? That's soccer, did you, buddy. Did you enjoy That's it? That's how you play the game. Did you enjoy it? Did you love it? Did you... I just you enjoyed, enjoyed it. it for what reasons? Because come here, so that talk to us so that we can they can hear you. I made friends there. Oh, uh, you enjoyed it because you made friends. Yeah. Okay, and what else? What else did you enjoy about it? Uh, the other thing was Hello? I didn't know. <laughs> okay, what didn't you like about it? Why did you want I can't to quit? Hold the ball. Why did you want to quit? I can't hold the ball. Okay. When the With your hands. was stressed, I was scared. <laughs> okay. Um, last of all, uh -huh. I don't know. You don't know. Okay, well anyway, <clears throat> he took around 20 sessions and then eventually... But we kind of felt that ito ah, kasi syempre, uh, when we'd watch him do his thing, uh, that was every Monday, Friday, we kind of felt na parang, oh, after how many minutes parang he's... He kind of feels that he thinks that he's tired, or but maybe like he's not. Uh, he's not interested anymore. Yeah, like so, after okay. thirty minutes, yung masada siyang atat, matapos yung oh, session. Oh, so parang it's like he couldn't wait for it to be done. So I think we were thinking, ana parang ano yan, Is it just a mood swing? Uh, and wait, wait, wait. Last of all, I what I didn't like about Saco was there was no shade. Oh, ah, no shade. there's no so shade. You, you felt hot. Ah, yeah. Uh, hot. Hot. Also. If it rained or ra it was raining, it gets muddy and you don't like getting the ba, all muddied up. Yeah, especially that time where I fell. And you fell and on your face? You got mud on your face? Yeah, and then... But, but then you know what, you actually... Was, but you know what, love, you actually handled that really well. And then mm. the other thing was, when it's raining, it drips on me. It drips... Yeah, like sweat. It drips on you. Like sweat. Yeah, but sweat is better because it's just like oh, instead of you don't you don't have. But like, isn't it fun being in the rain? I love being in the rain. Yeah, well, I know. Mean, kanya kanya. Maybe you know there are days when he's enjoy, when he enjoys being in the rain. Mm. But there were times during soccer. I guess na highlight lang yung reasons why he didn't want to um, continue when there on was with still it. Still rain. When there was still rain, mm -hmm. they were in the shade. I like playing in the rain, rain there, but not where all the mud is. Not where all the mud is. Anyway, eventually, uh, after he completed like the the, the two packages of ten sessions that we that we got for him, and then yeah, we decided that well, he decided he wanted to quit. Of course, the whole point of us doing this homeschooling is for us to allow ourselves to be more open to what the children is comfortable with. And he wasn't no longer comfortable and he no longer... Yeah, but we had a dilemma. To... We also had the dilemma because Mama and Papa are very handsy. <laughs> but we had, the, we had that dilemma because, one, we had the thinking of, okay, we're trying to get some uh, signals from them, from, yeah. from him. Yeah, cues. Kung, cues, kung okay sa kanya hindi. But at the same time, we don't want him to be sanai with just. I don't like it. Quit. Yeah, quitting. Yeah. We don't want. We also oh. don't want to encourage that kind of mindset. Correct. So yun yung dilemma namin. Yeah, dilemma. Sabi ko. Wait, ano ba to? Is it like a mood swing? Oh, anyway, cut a long story short. We uh, the deal was all right. Because it was anyway every ten sessions. Eh. So he just needed to finish 
his 20th session. Yeah, his second uh, set of 10. Uh, second uh -huh. set of 10. So that was the deal. We agreed. We agreed. Okay. And then we did that. And he said naman, sabi niya he wanted to try basketball. Well, that was actually the, the negotiation. It was, okay, we'll allow you to quit, but you need to take up another sport. Right. And his decision was to take up basketball. 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 All right. So, except, so we... Except I'm on my break now. Yeah. Yeah, you're on your break. Still, so his basketball three. Correct. Back. You know what I appreciate? I appreciate you being mindful of your time and the date and the place. Yeah, 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 I like it. So, hey, so Koya, tell us how do you <laughs> Papa's arm. how do you feel about basketball? I like holding the ball. Ah, uh, so you, you like holding the ball. So like... nga, So football is not for you. <laughs> you like holding the ball using your hands. You mean? He's, he, I guess he feels he's got better control with the ball because he gets to use his hands. Oh, but you know what? I gotta say, first day of basketball camp. Was very different to his first day at oh, soccer. Very, very different. You know, the, the drills that they had to do, mm. lalo na dribbling right hand, left hand, he was laser focused. And I told you about this. Yeah. I said, oh, mom. Grabe. He was Until late. the end. Until the end. So mind you, from 4 o'clock to 5.30, <gasps> Four o'clock to five thirty, and then this guy said, "Papa, I think this is the sport for me." <laughs> wow, tama ba? Is that how you still feel? But, you're on your, you're on your second month, buddy. Uh, I don't know which is better, soccer or basketball. Oh, you don't know which is better? Yeah, I don't know. Because you know the thing with soccer is your knees, buddy. Your at knees. First, be careful. We feel that he felt discouraged because, of course, he. He had a lot of work. Thing, he had a lot of work like, to do, but you know what? He got better. Back to Sako. The other thing I didn't like about Sako was Mama mm -hmm. comes really late. Okay. Oh, you didn't like that because because on on basketball the uh, Mama Mama goes early. Mama comes early on Thursdays. Well, you didn't tell me that. Do you want me to be there early at soccer? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, thanks for telling. Thanks for telling me that now. At least now I, I know. Kuya, what was the deal? Okay. If you join the podcast, you need to. Okay. Okay. Focus. 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 Yeah. Focus. Stay on the topic. Then why, then why am I even saying focus? Focus. <laughs> and you said focus on the topic. You're not focusing on the topic. <laughs> Okay, here, here we topic. are. Okay, here we go. See, she's at this age. Mm. Galing, no? Galing. <laughs> so wait. wait, wait, sorry. This is a revelation. Yeah. You're okay to go back to soccer. He just said, I don't know what's better now, soccer or basketball. Yeah. You want to do both? A little bit of both. Because he also said, Papa, can you sign me up? Uh, for golf. And... Not, for go not just for golf. Karate. Yeah. Because of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So, how about you just be a turtle? <laughs> <laughs> I need to be a turtle first. <laughs> Sometimes you are a turtle because you move slow and when you say, Primo, time to eat. <laughs> you are not, not focusing on the topic yes, he now. Is. He's focusing on yeah. the topic. He's just joking. No, but... Love, 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 love. Small voice, please. Small voice. Yeah. I was about to say climate. Go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is our main dilemma as parents to our children. Because, you know, we're trying the style because they want to be more alert and more conscious of what they're... <laughs> Gosh. We're trying to be more conscious about. <laughs> and that's the main dilemma of Drew, of Drew and I as parents to our children. Who's and Drew? <laughs> no, but I'm not. Go, go, go! Help, 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 help! Okay, okay. Stop that, stop that, stop that, okay. 
So this is the main dilemma, whether we will allow them to just, of course, if, to, to respect that they're unhappy and, uh, and allow them to just do something else, or are we going to, like, no, keep at it until you get better and then your mind might change about it? And mind you, that's what traditional schooling is all about, having structure, which, like, we kind of lack. That's why one of the reasons why we enrolled them in whatever, para may structure din, kahit papaano. Kahit papaano, that they need to follow the they need to follow the coach, the rules. They, they need to follow the, the the rules, work with other people, work with other people, and yung just not quitting, and it's a grind that we want to teach yeah. them Actually, and for them to develop nga that having that mindset na just keep on grinding because may may finish line din yeah. yan. And there was one thing that really stuck to me. Um, it appeared on my IG feed that uh, don't let them quit on a bad day. Tama. And uh, this was something that we that we really stood by especially when he had uh, he encountered a problem with with the although we love the soccer coaches of <laughs> Real Amigos. We love them. But there was just one one session when Prima got a little scared and then he wanted to quit like he was dead set on quitting. Right. And but then along that that thing came showed up on my feed and it was perfect it was perfect timing because i think it was really something important for us to apply that you know love yes we will allow you to quit but not today right it's it was a life lesson for him and for us as well as parents um that we have to just like uh, pull through mm. and be consistent and be firm like, and help him get through that and help him realize yes. also that he needs to that the reason why he needs to pull through. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who are your parents? Who are your parents? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh really. my goodness. Anyway, so we're doing basketball now. Oh, we're doing basketball now. <laughs> cool, yeah. <laughs> okay, fine. I just wanna be silly. Yeah, I know. Okay, you are you know, pretty silly. Now you know why mom and papa can't really let you stay here. Although sometimes I want them to hear stuff from you. But then if you're just gonna be silly, it's gonna be hard for them to understand and learn. Okay, mind you, Kuya, a huge part of the reason why we're, we're doing, doing this. this is because why we want you to learn from this, and we want other people to learn from our experiences. Your your class is gonna start in twenty five okay, minutes. Please stay there, Nala. Oh, stay there okay, first. Please stay there, now so that mom and papa won't get distracted. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, buddy. So the reason why you did homeschool from the top. <laughs> from the top. <laughs> no, but um, yeah. So we have we he's currently enrolled in um basket. His his sport now is basketball, which basketball. he seems to be enjoying much more. So twice a week, uh, Tuesday Thursday, uh, one and a half hours. Um, I, 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 I totally saw the the, the, the contrast, the his change. Demeanor. Um, he he's just really like focused. Don't get me wrong; he gets tired as well. Yeah. But I kind of sense that he really wants to be better. Uh huh. Y you know what else is great though too with basketball mm. is that Leon has also been joining him. If you have kids that have, if you have kids, obviously you have siblings. Their kids have siblings. I think it's nice to tag them along because mm. seeing their kuya or seeing their sibling in action, I think is already kind of planting seeds. Oh, no, no. So that's what happened with Prima for soccer, my goodness, out of the 20 sessions. So good it wasn't until the 15th session. Right. <laughs> na medyo na rin and it's partly sali. my fault, I guess, because when we started with soccer and even with basketball parang nasanay si Leon na parang hindi na condition siya na ah okay kapag pupunta kami sa soccer pag pupunta kami sa basketball si papa would give me money to to buy my favorite drink or whatever that's why i had to be firm na the last couple of times na oh Leon papa sa gini give you money okay i will probably you know if you if you decide to, you know, engage or join Kuya with the session, then as a reward, I'll give you your favorite drink also for Kuya. So, yun yung naging condition. Okay. So, that was something that you discovered oh, about oh. yourself. And... But at the same time, you're right. 
And I think al also both coaches, the soccer coaches and basketball coaches, they also uh, agree na kapag sumasama yung mga younger siblings, almost often, uh -huh. talagang na ano sila. Medyo almost always, uh, yeah. talagang they get inspired. Yeah. They, they're, they're, uh, they're pushed to like, hmm, I want to do what Kuya's doing or I want to do what Ate's doing. Yeah, so Leon has actually been joining basketball. Mm. So that's something that I, I've been enjoying watching. Yeah, and uh, lang, it's, it's, it's just nice. I, alam ko naman, you know, even with Leon's age, lalo na with Leon's age, very inconsistent, diba? Pero kita mo si Kuya, nakakatawa eh. He's such a follower eh. Yeah. Diba? Whatever like he the follows the rules. He follows the rules. He, I mean, yun yung personality naman niya ever since. Total contrast sa isa, <laughs> parang outlaw na, okay, I'm gonna join. And then, pag wala na, I'm not gonna join. Okay. But I'm still giving him you know, that, that leeway. I don't want to be too yeah. strict. Well, I mean, with, for if anything, I'm happy to take... 20 minutes out of the one hour yeah. that, that, Prim, that Leon will mm. will be part of the oh. warm-ups or whatever drills that they do. I, I, I'll take the 20 minutes out of the one hour, hoping that eventually the 20 will become 30 and 40. But, you know, right now he's probably at like 40 minutes out of Four the minutes. one hour. Actually, it's not even one hour, it's an hour and a half. But yeah, let's say 80%. 80% of the training, Leon actually joins. <laughs> Uh, but I don't want to be too specific, pero at yung isa, isa sa mga major, reason, major reasons why kinikilig sila. And this is like the majority, ah. Kapag, and both soccer and basketball, mm. kapag ilalabas na yung goal ng soccer, yeah. kapag ilalabas na yung hoop or yung basket, mm -hmm. kapag basketball. Yeah. Kasi parang yun yung culminating activity at talagang hinahanap-hanapin ng mga bata. Yeah. So dun, dun rin kinikilig la. Alam na kinikilig si Primo na uh, you know, pag nakaka-shoot na siya, titingin siya sa sa atin, 'di ba? Tapos yeah. naman parang, "Oy, he wants acknowledgement." Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so so far that's where we're at. That's the sport. Yun yung mga soccer, football and and basketball. Aside from basketball, um, they're also uh, enrolled in robotics. Okay. Which so far, the two have also really been enjoying too because it's kind of like playing with, with Lego. Mm, tama. But their um, designs like move, so they it's like they must I guess nakakatawa because they get to see their actual creations move and. We drive them to Alabang, kung saan yung yung class nila. Tapos non. Uh, they have so many pieces that they can, you know, use and so that they can build something with and they wheels. Have, and they and have then different they, levels also. Different levels. And then they connect it to the controller. And then they can control what they build. Yeah, Pretty much it. Yeah. Kaya feeling ko, ngayon yung Lego phase, phase nila and just being creative yeah. and just being uh, kinikilig sila to go to school is such a huge factor. Yeah. Diba? Lalo na, what? Once a week lang tayo, Pop or Mom? Yeah, actually, it's funny because I thought initially going and to the Lodix. And diba? I mean, we're, we live in Pasig. We have to drive to Alabang, which is definitely not bad considering it's like a 45-minute drive. Yeah. yeah. It's funny because with robotics, if with other classes, they look forward to, you know, being with friends or making new friends, mm. seeing people. Dito sa robotics, actually... It's not about being able to socialize. They really go looking forward to what they're going to create. Absolutely. Which is what I love. Because uh, before I would go to school because I love to see my friends. I didn't really go to school because I love to learn. Yeah. So I love that they love to go to this robotics class because they love what they're creating. And that should and be... And that's what I want. That's what we want for them. That's the love for learning that we want them, them to, to feel and and uh, and that's why we, we told I, mean, I think we expressed our feelings towards education per se and uh, when we they were, we're old now Sabina natin but we if we want to learn something we you know try to walk the extra mile yeah. to try and learn it because we're interested in mm. not like before before na parang no, really. we were forced to sa school eh. so parang may mga ibang subjects na God, memorization na lang or whatever, factual na lang. Na, alam naman natin na hindi tayo interested. Here, buting na napadpad ka nga dun sa robotics na in-enroll mga mm -hmm. anak natin, 
Doon mo makikita na talagang, what? Once a week lang? Let's go twice a week. Yeah. Uh, anak, medyo hindi ganun kamura <laughs> yan. Anak, alam mo yung ganun? Yeah, yeah. But then, we kind of feel that it's it's definitely worth it mm. kung, na, kung nakikita mo yung mga anak mo, ganun yung reaction pagdating yeah. sa learning. Learning, learning. Another thing that they seem to also enjoy is Sunday school. Ah, yes. So, <laughs> oh, pala. It's funny, sir. I, I take them to church and, you know, we've probably been going for a good two months. Mm. And, you know, sometimes I feel like, like with Alana, eventually... What happens? So, so you, you, you go to church. I go to church and then um, they have... And this like, church is like a multi-purpose hall or is, is it like... Yeah, it's pretty much a function hall. It's a function hall in a hotel. Yeah. Okay. And they have like a Sunday school for kids. They have children's um, church school. Mm. Yeah. And so it's separate from... It's separate from, from the big people's church. And you just leave the kids. And you can leave the kids. And they have different classes according, of course, to age. Hmm. So, see Alana, oh, actually, they're all supposed to be in three different classes, but Leon... Because of the age. Yeah, Leon wanted to stay with his kuya. Okay. So, siyempre, I was like, okay, I'll okay lang sa akin. Alana was okay being on her own. Anyway, eventually, we would Good keep on going. Mm. We would go. And then eventually, Alana was like, oh, mama, she didn't want to enter. Okay. So, I had to bring her in church with me. Until maybe another week, I was like, love, then I decided to just leave her at home because she didn't want to. Oh. But yeah, I mean, I am happy to bring her dinaman inside the church with me. But the two boys, I asked them, okay, so do you guys still want to join me? And they do. So what do they do? Honestly, love, I, I don't know. Oh, you don't know? Okay. I don't know because I'm not there. I'm not there, but oh. they're learning about the stories uh, in the Bible. Yeah, okay. They're learning, like, they learn about... So I they guess, have their own... Uh, they have okay. their own thing, like, I guess they're learning about forgiveness. I guess they're learning about values that we're also just hoping to instill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, about being good people. Yeah. Uh, being as, uh, as Christ-like as we can be. Mm -hmm. And so I, I guess it's hard because... I'm also on a journey of trying to grow in my faith. Mm. And so I'm also still learning. So, you know, there are things that I'm not confident in teaching my children. So it's nice having these people at church who can help me in that aspect. Okay. So it's nice because, you know, like when I do, when we do the gratitude journal, I'll ask him, okay, so what did you learn? I remember that. And then to my surprise, like he was telling me a story in the Bible. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. So I guess he's not just there to be with friends or to make friends, but He's actually picking something up. If there's one thing that uh, the, the trait of Kuya that's so strong is that he he acts like a sponge. Yeah. Am bilis talaga matuto ni Kuya. He picks it up right away. Yeah. So so, yeah. It, it, so that's something also that they have been enjoying because <clears throat> I, I say that they enjoy it because they still choose to come, right. even if they don't have to. Mm. And even Leon. No, but I want to go to church now. Yeah. It's like um. Yeah. It's not until Sunday. Right, right. So yeah, so that's, that's always some, a good something thing. that I'm See, glad that they're enjoying. Um, I, I guess generally, natutuwa tayo kapag they want to go. Yeah. They're not forced to. Yes. Yeah, it, generally, it, yun yun eh. It's, it's, it's tricky and it's, I guess, the challenge for us parents is, you know, we spend to enroll them into something and all we can do is hope for the best. <laughs> And hope na hindi masayang yung, right. yung ginastos mo. So it's always like as a little... Uh, um, celebration. It's a little Victory. celebration when we see that, oh, okay, they're enjoying it. Buti na lang din yung the courses that they take. You know, like a good number of sessions yeah. lang muna to try it out. And then if they want another one, yeah. another one. And I'm sure a lot of these um, schools or a lot of these uh, programs have trial sessions. Yeah. So... Try it out. Right. I mean, we have yet to try out... A lot uh, of other things. Arts, I'm still supposed to... I have to look for uh, an art school. An for art them school. To, a, a baking, cooking one. Ay, si Kuya which loves, they love. Yeah. They actually, they all love to be uh, in the kitchen. So that's so, another class that I have to... I think school bus. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> love your school bus. Ironic. Mga sinungaling, you know. Hey, school bus. Sorry. Ay, mga pala homeschool. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess that's one great thing about yun ya, uh, our, our homeschooling. We we have we have that 
ano um, that that space that buffer the liberty the liberty to keep them or, or to try out new things for them to be exposed with so and and mahaba pa to yeah we we can because because we're home school because we're homeschooling uh we can be a lot more flexible oh Oh. Yeah, so, and, 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 and kahit na may konting, it's not geographically convenient, like for example, Alabang. Yeah. Kaya or, natin or gawin, even, dahil, nga, dahil dead time, yeah. well, hindi siya rush hour. Yeah, we can choose we our can time. We can choose our we can, time. We can always find a way to incorporate it into yeah. the schedule. Or like for example, this week wala akong biyahe, which means Wednesday, Thursday, free ako. So we can, we can, we can actually, uy, do something we, different. we can do something, maybe we can go to... Uh, kids museum or we can go to uh, some zoo or some yeah. some park or somewhere in the south or north or east or west so i guess that's that's a great thing yeah. and yeah. if anything what i love is that we can just be a little bit more specific with what they're interested in mm. and you know life is short and with the little time that we have at least we can use more of it more intentionally oh In, more purposefully. In, in, in cut the trim. In, parang trim. Trim out the. Hopefully, trim out the. Not the man the nonsense, but just just trim out the fat. <laughs> unwanted fat. <laughs> yeah, I mean, unwanted gonna, fat. Um. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully, and, and of course. And hopefully, what we're doing is right. And this is a journal. This is our journal, and we're just updating you and ourselves. Yeah. What's, For those who might need some inspiration, uh-oh. who are a little hesitant and want to try something different oh. you know I, yeah, at the end of the day drew and i are also still learning and uh, don't get don't get us wrong along the way we're, we're failing yeah and, and uh, but there are small victories that we celebrate talaga and but, in the future should they decide to go to a traditional school then you know yeah. we're also open to that too yeah, absolutely but so in the meantime at the age mm. that they are at right now i think that this is probably what's more important for us as a family yeah Subok lang na subok. Yeah. Yeah. So that's an update from us. Uh, it's hard, no? To be a parent. <laughs> it's hard, no? Parang you, you get up, oh, I can't wait till they can start talking so that they can express themselves. They start expressing themselves and it's like, my hirap din pala tong stage na to. Hindi, pati ito rin. Ito rin, like for example. And you guys know rin, kasi when you were watching, we want to do this podcast. Get it out of the way. Like we, we we do this because we get to talk, yeah, and we get to highlight whatever it, what whatever what was good whatever uh, happened last week. Na medyo ano nga parang I guess milestone or monumental. Um, pero pagdating dito yung kids parang oh oh that's gonna medyo may counting layer of distraction yeah. and we gotta do this. Yeah, but at the same time but, we we're, we're open to it, we love it, we welcome it, but. You know, sometimes, especially when we have like uh, a time to, we have a schedule that uh, we have to try meet. Uh, so it's like, wait, we we're doing this homeschooling thing. We want to be open to this, but right now we're not open to it. So <laughs> it clashes a lot of the time. But you know, every day is a new day, and it's always a chance to do it better. <laughs> I, I, can I just like, maganda uh, conclusion But I just want to be real and insert this. Some people might think, kasi na. You know, homeschool new mga anak yung because you want more time with them. Yes, but at the same time, don't get me wrong. We also want time away from them. <laughs> Tama. Only because it's healthy. It's needed. It's, it's needed because it the stress, be the stress us. levels from uh, what we feel. Yeah. Ano rin eh, It's it's substantial. Yeah. So sometimes we kind of need that space, Ren. Yeah. We need we need breaks and we need breathers. Also. Oh, 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 so we signed them up to traditional school. <laughs> <laughs> God, is it worth it? I'm just so, kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry for our kaguluhan. Yeah, but, but uh, this is this. This is the update. This is our journal, and we're being real. You know, hoping that we're uh, making the right moves for for the kids. That's 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 always you know. Yeah, that's always my prayer. Yeah, there you go. And together. We hope you guys are keeping up with yourselves. Because <laughs> we're all going through some yeah. kind of challenge in this life. Wish us luck. We wish you luck too. Love from Bali. <laughs> the life without.